President Joe Biden has arrived in Finland, the newest member of NATO, for a meeting of Nordic countries. It's the end of his three-stop tour, having just left the NATO summit in Lithuania, where he said Western allies will not waver in defense of Ukraine. Speaking before he left Vilnius, Biden cast the struggle against Russian aggression as one of the world's central challenges requiring a broad coalition of countries to stand in defense of freedom. We must never forget how much this matters and never, never give up on a better tomorrow. The defense of freedom is not the work of a day or a year. It's the calling of our lifetime, of all time. We are steel for the struggle ahead. Our unity will not falter, I promise you. Ukraine's President Zelensky leaves the summit with a mixed bag. He failed to get a time frame for NATO membership, but has a new NATO-Ukraine Council and a three-part package to bring Ukraine closer to the alliance. Uh, and the summit produced another illustration of the quest for security. Sweden, which will be participating in the Nordic talks with Biden, was finally given the green light to join NATO after Turkey dropped its objections.